All right, so today's uh, pull the trigger. I can't say oh, anything. I'm just going to say, um, I was prepared for a different question. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it actually reminded me of, and I heard this recently? What? Um, the Jimi Hendrix song, um, Manic. Uh, Manic Dip. He actually was a huge yeah. influence for me on, uh, on uh, how I um, sing the song. Oh, really? Yeah, for the second verse. Um, Channeled your inner talks, black. He talks a lot of a lot of his lyrics, and um, I kind of wanted to do that and explore and uh, just play around a little bit more. So um, I don't know. It's definitely a little bit of a, like a looser vibe than I normally am. I I, uh, I definitely gravitate towards blues music and um, soul and. Um, gospel and that uh, I've been, I've been, I don't know, I've, I've just, um, since I've been doing all the, the voice therapy and stuff, it's, it's really, uh, it's helped me expand my range and um, it's given me a little bit more freedom and confidence to, to explore just different things with my voice. So uh, pretty much all the, all the songs I, I was able to to really just like transcend past what I normally do and um, just paint a whole different kind of picture. You know, it's still it's still me, but I got to express myself more, which was which was pretty cool. Things that I didn't normally do. So what's this uh, song all about? What's the song about? Well, the theme of this group of songs is really about. Um, kind of putting the crap behind you and becoming who you are. And uh, this song is really cool because it, it, it kind of came together at the last minute. Uh, it was the last song of the six to, to kind of be brought to the table. And um, it's really about like coming to that, that crossroads of like, are you gonna continue like living your little nightmare or or changing and really stepping into the person that you're 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 meant to be, and um, you know it's it's painful and kind of scary at times, and sometimes you got to say goodbye to certain people. It's scary to kind of drop some habits. I mean, especially when you live with them forever. Um, it's hard to kind of look at yourself and uh, admit that you've been wrong. And you've at times kind of like gave into you know the lies that like we kind of create and what we've been told about ourselves you know just in life you know insecurities and stuff um you know it's it's meant a little bit more to me lately especially uh because i've had so many issues with my voice when when i wrote when i wrote most of this um i was much better singing uh, physically, and um, you know, when I had my uh, when I had when I had my injury, I was like really, you know, I was really psyching myself out. I was really in my head about, um, you know, every little thing I did, every little noise that I made. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm ruining something, and you know, it was affecting my performance. You know, it's like I felt pain, or you know, I was just really scared. I was really scared. I was gonna lose, you know, everything that, you know. I worked for, and um, we worked for, and not be able to to do what I did, and um, kind of getting back to that, uh, you know, I had to kind of put the fear down, and I had to have a bunch of people kick me in the butt and just be like, it's in your head now, like, you know, you're cleared, just get back out there, and you know, if you screw something up, you screw something up. So. I'm very excited to do this and see how it comes out. How do you like doing this song live? Ooh, I really love it. It's super fun. It's a, uh, it's hard. This and uh, our song Kill Bill and uh, Mamba. Very difficult to sing. You know, as I'm, I'm kind of coming back to being 100% health, but. Um, 
it's it's so fun. Like the crowd really likes it, and um, we as a band we really like it. So I think we play it with a with a certain energy, and we just it's really fun. It's really fun to to sing it. It's got a lot of personality. Final words. Rock and roll, man. <laughs> <laughs>